Hey, good morning, guys. I'm Sean with Tolmart Electronics. We're here at the American Tolman Showplace here in Las Vegas. I'm standing with Pete Colantoni with Midco. And so we're gonna do a walk around of this vehicle, show you the advantages and the partnering solutions that we, we do together. Pete. Okay, this is a 2023 uh, Freightliner M2, and uh, it's outfitted with a Jordan 22-foot steel XLP rollback and a SRS, which is a side recovery system made by Jordan, designed by Jordan. And uh, it's also outfitted with the uh, Tomar lighting system, Tomar light bar, and a little bit extra, something new that uh, we just came up with. In, debuted uh, for the show. Debuted right. for the show, yeah. these are debuted. All right, so walking towards the front of the vehicle, uh, we implemented our Rex 16 series. Uh, so these have specific optics within the light heads themselves. So they have horizontal optics uh, to further focus the light downrange and not just scatter the light wherever. You know, and Pete and I both find this very important, especially for operators working around not only sides of the truck, but the front of the truck to mitigate the chaos uh, right here. Um, there's often times where the lights are very bright that you know operators can't see what they're doing by the truck that they're working around um, and creates, creates a, you know, a larger liability. Uh, so with the optics that we implement, we're, we're able to work around that truck but not be blinded by our, our warning light itself. So. And the biggest thing that's really important is to let the oncoming drivers know which direction to go, not to go directly towards the truck. The, the problem with some lights is when they flash, they draw people to the truck. We like to push them away. And that's why we use Tomar lighting. That's why it's very important to us to do that because we want to push people away from the trucks, keep the drivers safer. Walking around the side here, we could see quite a bit of uh, some of our lighting features called the iLED series. This is uh, capable of being a tri-color, uh, tri-mode light. Uh, so the advantages of this, especially in the towing industry, is you could have three different colors for your warning, whether it's red, amber, white, or if you have single color or dual color, it comes uh, pretty handy. We're currently in our, uh, our, our warning mode, I should say. Uh, but when we go to our scene light, these go to steady burn white. Uh, so you'll notice that now you're effectively lighting the whole side of the truck. And up pop at the Black Widow, you have a 13 degree down angle light that's illuminating not only your bed, but the scene behind the truck as well. If you're in a dark area and you don't need the the flashing lights and you need the floods, it comes in very handy. You don't lose tools, don't lose uh, your gloves, your flashlight, your chains, things like that. Gives you all that extra place to work. This uh, side recovery system. So when you uh, go out to a vehicle and say you go out and you didn't get a lot of information from a dispatcher and you find out that that car is like about 50 feet down side big embankment on a road, this unit will be able to go and uh, winch the car out, um, pull it back up the hill, and then you can load it onto the bed. These hydraulic stiff legs come out, come down, steady the truck, stabilize the truck, winch the car up so you can get it loaded on the bed. Going up to the very top, uh, we implemented a Black Widow version, but it's actually the Tolman Special. Uh, Midco and specifically Pete came to us and said, hey, we want a bar that was all encompassing, does all the features that we needed to do. And with Pete being in the towing industry for, I don't know, how numerous years. 1979. Right? Yeah. Um, he has a lot of credibility when it comes to lighting and, and the capabilities of what these lights need to do. Uh, so we have a 58 inch Black Widow up top. Um, it's the Tolman special, but it includes uh, amber warning, red warning, and dual function override when we need it for white scene light. Uh, you get white scene to the sides, the front, and the rear. Um, the rear scene lights in this bar are 13 degree down angle. So when you're loading something on the bed and you're, uh, if you have a certain chassis that the headache rack or your, your rack is on the bed itself, you're not gonna be shining into traffic and be shining down at the bed or, or the ground if you need it. And that's the great thing about Tomar. They put the light where it's needed, not all over the place. So it's very functional, it's very important because what we found is when you're out on a dark highway and you see a whole bunch of light flooding the area, you don't know which way to go. You don't know whether to go left, you don't know whether to go right, you don't know what to go. And so one of the things that I designed with Tomar's help um, is the angel wings. These angel wings, when they're 
folded in a position that they're not being used, they fold down and they lock in place here. And uh, when they're deployed, they make the truck look about three foot wider than it is. Now, as you'll notice, the, the angel wings don't go out much further than the mirror. It, it doesn't go out into traffic, but it gives the illusion that it does from oncoming traffic. The other thing you'll notice is when there's a car on the bed, it kind of kills the light bar because you can't really see it. Okay, so the angel wings are there so you can start seeing the light sooner and figure out what to do. As you can see, these are directional and they're telling the people, go left, go right. And it tells people when you're going 65 miles an hour, you have just a few seconds to make a decision, what do I do? And what they were designed for and what they were meant to do is give that little bit of extra cushion for the drivers that are working on the side of the road. And so we can push the cars away subconsciously push them away from the truck. And that's what the lights were designed to do. When Pete came to Tomar and he, he proposed a solution, uh, it was an immediate almost acceptance from us of understanding the importance of increasing safety and uh, roadside safety, especially for our tow industry. You know, there, there's uh, tow truck drivers and operators that are killed, you know. Every six days. Every six days. And, you know, we could try to mitigate it as best we can and develop some solutions to uh, give further advances to drivers um, on coming to the scene. So, and debuted this for the tow show. So this is- Yeah, this uh, is the first showing of it. And as you can see by the truck, if you look at it really close, I have the luxury of probably the best techs in the country. I also have the luxury of the best products. We only use the inner ditch products. We only use the Tomar products. We use the best because we build the best trucks, okay? We want people safe. We want them to be able to do the job. We want them to be able to do the job right, no damage, not getting hurt, okay? That's very important to Midco. We don't build cheap trucks. We build the best trucks. And that's very important to us. I agree. And you know, there's something to be said for using the best equipment to, you know, increase safety, uh, but also get the job done the same way as well. Awesome. Thanks, Pete. Sounds appreciate good. You. Thank you very much. I appreciate yeah. it. Take care, guys.